So welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the electronic bound structure of silicon. So we open this folder. These are the four input files needed to plot the electronic bound structure. The first one is the SCF. So that's what we have, followed by the bands. So the only difference between this one and the SCF is just these bands number of bands then your k points this k point is a part k points um, the brilliant zone the part of the brilliant zone that you must follow right um, that one can be discussed then you can always get this one in literature okay followed by the number of these um, silicon dot bands and this is what we have in it just make sure that your prefix in your SCF tallies with this one then we also have this one then finally, you have your plot band, which we will open and um, edit later. But to now start the calculation, we we'll open our SCF. I'm um, sorry, our terminal. Then we we'll see into um, silicon, um, silicon underscore band. So we are in there. So if I click type list, you will see the four files: one, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three, four. These other ones are images that are not, um, um, they're just images just appearing in this particular file. Okay, so to run the first calculation, although I've um, typed um, the commands, but I can recall using my arrow key. Yes. So I'll just check. Um, okay, so this is the command needed to run the first one, which is this one. So this is the command. I'm using four processors so this is a command so I'll click enter so I guess um, it should take uh, nothing less than two to three minutes so it's done okay so we'll go ahead to run the second calculation which is band so I'll recall So this is the next command to run the band. This will take more time compared to that of SCF. So I'll click enter. So as this one is running, we'll go to our output file for the SCF file. We'll go to our output file. Then we'll control find and type Femi. Now this Femi will copy it copy control c and go to the plot band this is the plot band now under the plot band this is the file this is how it will look like so this will put the frame paste it here paste this one here now because the frame energy is 6.0387 right now we want maybe some values upward and some values below so if we say add 10 to this particular one, that will give us 16. Now if you want it 15, you want the, uh, the y-axis to run from maybe let's say minus 15 to 15. So if you add 15 to this, what will it give us? Around 21. I can change it to 21. So if we subtract 15, this one from 15, to give us um, around um, is it 9 or so? 9. Okay, so I can change this one to 9, then I'll save it. That's all. Now, this 5, the purpose of this 5 is the range along the y-axis. So, when you plot it, you should have 0, 5, 10, 15. If you want 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, then you change this one to 2, right? So, that's the purpose of this one. So, I think that's all. So, we'll save it and close. Let's go back to our terminal and see. I think it's done. So the next calculation we do is this particular one, um, bands, silicon bands. So we use so you have to be careful what command you use. Take notes. This one is bands. But for the first two, we use pw.x. So this one is bands.x for this third one. 
exactly so we'll click enter okay so it's done then finally we do our plot band when we are doing our plot band it doesn't require processor so look at the first one the first one used mpi for processors mpi for processors mpi for processors so this final one does not require processors so so we we'll use uh plot band then I delete everything from here. Then that's all. Then I'll click enter. So that's all. As you just click, the result comes out. So I can minimize this one and go and check my results. So this is my results. Although the Femi energy part is not appearing, I think would not really, but well, this is a band structure. So I think we're not really taking our, um, what's it called now, the wire axis properly. So we can go back and replot it just by editing this one. That's the beauty. We can come back and replot it. We can even take 20, minus 20. Let's just take minus 20 and save it, right? So let's rerun it again. I want to rerun it to override that one. So I'll open. So I think this one is better. So I can come here, um, edit view. Um, rotate right. Okay, so this is a band structure of silicon. So you can see that from here, it has a what? A gap. This is a Fermi energy. It has a gap of very small value, which is different from that of the experimental value. So there are certain calculations we can do to improve this gap. We call it HSC. I hope that this video helps. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So.